We continue covering Colorado first for you tonight. The state Supreme Court has ruled a 2021 law is unconstitutional. Colorado's Child Sexual Abuse Accountability Act allowed child victims of sexual abuse to file lawsuits against their abusers, even after the statute of limitations was up. Marissa Armas spoke with a survivor of human trafficking and abuse about that ruling joins us tonight. Well, for many, this decision brings a lot of uncertainty because not only do many of these people wait decades to share their stories, but now this is likely going to even push more people away from addressing it. And an attorney we spoke to says that many of his clients are already calling to see what's next. The other survivors that Jill Brogdon knows what it's like to harbor trauma inside for decades. I absolutely worry for victims coming forward. Jill says she was trafficked by a teacher from ages 12 to 18 and didn't try to pursue legal action until she was well into adulthood. I think one of the most difficult challenges that I've faced is people saying, why did you wait so long to come forward? And the reason why is it takes a long time to be able to come forward with your story. And now it's going to be even harder for anyone trying to get justice against their perpetrator. Tuesday, the Colorado Supreme Court struck down a 2021 law that allowed victims of child sexual abuse to file lawsuits against their abusers and the organizations that have held the abuse, regardless of when it happened, bypassing the statute of limitations. I would say, by and large, um, people that were abused, you know, decades ago and became um, adults decades ago, their claims are going to face a very uphill battle. Childhood sexual abuse attorney Zachary Warzel says at least 90% of their cases would essentially be dismissed because of the ruling. I think it's probably the end of the road for a lot of these people, but we're not going to give up on fighting this. Many advocates say the next step would be to take this to the ballot box to have voters decide on making it a constitutional amendment. The pain is real and it's going to be with us forever and we need to do something about it. And advocates don't want victims to lose hope. They say while getting legal justice is limited for many right now, there are still resources to find justice and healing when it comes to that trauma. Some local organizations you can contact for help are the Colorado Coalition Against Sexual Assault or the Wings Foundation, among several others. All right, Marissa, thank you.